Democrats? You, you wonder why America, the heartland doesn't think that you have their best interest at heart? Because a nutless monkey would be more effective yeah. at putting America first. <laughs> I think this actually has already cinched the deal. Let me kind of make some points as to why, and you guys can let me know where you think I'm wrong. Yeah. You can let me know, as you very often do. Uh, the media's been trying to claim that he's been terrible at his job, okay? But Donald Trump's overall approval rating, and by the way, this is where polls matter, not like when Bernie Sanders says, look at, Venez look at Venezuela, they prefer their health care. So right. they, yeah. they do in yeah. Cuba, it's a different deal. but it's a they thing. die. So this is, where, <laughs> this is where polls matter, because Donald Trump amidst a crisis, and this is kind of important, because you see this quite a bit historically, it's a good indicator. 60% of Americans actually approve of his response. Huge. to coronavirus. His recent approval rating with that Gallup risen from 44 to 49 yep. percent. Wow. Right. Who do Americans uh, rate the worst right now, by the way? The, the fake, fake lying news media. That's what they rate <laughs> as the worst Finally. aspect of American culture. Second worst is late night hosts broadcasting from their bathroom without a lavalier mic. That's up there. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. I don't know. It's expensive. Like, it's we I get it. it. We, it. we get on. it. It's raw. It's organic. Samantha B and Jimmy Kimmel. But can't you just take a portion of the 12 million salary and just get a rogue mic? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were wearing a suit in a bathtub, so do that. Just do, it's just, it's unreal to me. Something. This is, and this is also, by the way, why, why they want to lean on YouTube. Right, Vox, yeah, NBC yeah. Universal, they realize they can't compete when they start putting this content. No one wants to watch Seth Meyers in his hallway. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not more than once at the very least. Yeah, right. I don't know. Here's a point. Okay, so tra travel bans. To answer your question, uh, Stu, I don't know that President Trump has done a whole lot differently than any other president would. I think there's yeah. a limited amount of control that you have. The CDC doesn't really have anything necessarily to do with Trump. They sort of operate independently. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have the right information from China. The World Health Organization did not declare it a crisis uh, or a pandemic until March 12th. So I, I, to be clear, I know everyone's trying to score political points. I can't say that Donald Trump has done everything right or differently than another president. But Johnny Boy, right. who had the horrible idea of the Schindler's List parody, <laughs> had a very good him. point here. God, I do know one him. thing that President Trump has specifically done differently than all other leaders, and that's his uh, travel ban from yeah, China. It was big. Yeah. Donald Trump banned it early. They didn't do that elsewhere at the same, it, w they didn't do it with the same vigor, you should no. say, and we can compare that directly with his competitor in a general election, Joe Dementia Biden, who claimed <laughs> that the travel ban was xenophobic. So this is remarkable yeah. Yeah. to me. E even if everything else from President Trump were terrible, it was absolutely, uh, let's say mm -hmm. he handled everything as poorly as can be, yeah. He's still not as bad as Joe Biden. It is a miracle. They put up someone in the general. If I'm Donald Trump and I go into this general election, there's a debate with Joe Biden, yeah. right? And he says, oh, it wasn't enough of a response. I just coach Donald Trump, say, all right, let it fly. Well, listen, I put the ban on uh, travel from China. You said it was racist. So when, when would you have put travel restrictions on China, Joe? And he won't, he won't be able to answer. Probably no, pack himself, no. you know, and forget where he is for a little bit. <laughs> Can you imagine? He's back-to-back he's -back competitors so far are going to be Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden. Like the two right. weakest people to put up against anyone. Yeah, well, side. especially, though, on the coronavirus. In other words, yeah. they ha he has no leg to stand on on what will be the hot button issue yeah, here. absolutely. If, if it were just some random recession or something that happened, they could try and attribute it to policy, right? Right, But yeah. with this, it's clear as day. Donald Trump did something proactive. You accused him of racism. And by the way, Biden was just following lockstep with the media. They claimed that it yeah. was nonsensical, uh, an emotional reaction. This is yeah. from Vox, New York Times. They also said that we shouldn't really worry about the coronavirus, that it was less mm. than the flu. But now yeah. they try to act like that's just a right-wing talking point. Um, <laughs> we got it from you. One of Italy's, wasn't it one of Italy's uh, uh, virologists? He, he, yeah. uh, he, he said um, when he was responding to the outbreak that the fear of the political fallout from enacting a travel ban made the pandemic much worse in Italy. This is what he said. Now, the American media was saying, no, 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 no don't listen to that uh, guy who works in Italian government. Uh, yeah. It has nothing to do with open borders. We are at a point where political correctness could quite literally be killing people. LGBTQ, AI, and people died. That's the point here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hands up, don't shoot. I don't, I mean, no, that's the, yeah. this is an actual thing. You don't ban travel from China where the, vi the, the virus originates, people will die. Yeah, yeah. yeah and you go back to like, our definition of political correctness is different than the original, right? The original is from Marxist states mm -hmm. where, and, and this is very specific, where the Chinese government they decided the politically correct thing for doctors to do is deny that there was a virus. Yeah. So this is legitimately, this entire thing is actually uh, an extension of political correctness. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it's dangerous. Yeah. It, it, it's not without consequences. People think it's, well, I'm being nice because I'm not offending people. And there's been a, obviously a multifaceted approach from of President course. Donald Trump, but this is one thing that you can say is singularly mm -hmm. unique in comparison 
to whether it's Biden or Bernie, but it seems like the candidate will obviously be Biden unless, you know, they don't have enough smelling salts. But the point is, <laughs> I think uh, that's a that's a stark contrast. <laughs> and by the, by the way, can we just say, Joe Biden is really unwell. He is not doing well at no. all. This, this yeah, week, really uh, he had Sad. a series of disastrous media appearances. First, I think we have this one with a failed teleprompter on a live stream. Yeah. Watch, it's sad. Beef up the number of responders dealing with the crush, these crush of cases. And, uh, and in addition to that, uh, in addition to that, we have to And boom uh, goes sure the dynamite. We, uh, we are in a position that we are, well, let me, let me go to the second thing. Let's, let's oh, my God. It's sad. The president must use the Defense Production Act. Yeah, there is, there is no uh, second sir. thing. No, sir, is, let me go to the second thing. Uh, yeah, oh, sir. Joe, what's the second thing? <laughs> Third thing. <laughs> three things. There are three more than yeah, one or two. The other one. What I stop. <laughs> I like, I like the hand motion there. It looks yeah. like he's checking someone yeah. for testicular cancer. <laughs> and cough? Very roughly. Yeah. Mm. Cough. What? Huh? What'd he say? Huh? What? Huh? I'm fine. What kind of a piece of shit do you have to be to keep putting him out there in that condition? I know. It's, yeah. it's yeah. really. It's seriously. Yeah. I, I'm asking seriously. It's not a punchline. No, someone needs to, like, you just need to have someone waving it off. Like, stop. Enough. Yeah. Wave off the fight. His family needs to be there with a the towel and throw yeah. the towel. Yeah. It's over for Joe. And it's very fitting because Putin will kill him. <laughs> That's true. Putin <laughs> will break him. Yeah. The yeah, symbolism is everywhere. Yeah. Um, they won't do the fist bump, though, because six feet. We understand that. So <laughs> he then went on The View, and the responses, they, weren't, they were not at all coherent. In Hot Topics, we yes, talked sir. about Trump saying the government would reassess the recommended period for keeping businesses shut and people at home. Are you at all concerned, as Trump said, that we cannot let the cure be worse than the problem itself? We have to take care of the cure. <laughs> that will make the problem worse no matter what. <laughs> we have to take right. care of the cure. No, and this, I don't want to be that guy that got you. In his defense, right. he didn't misspeak. On Thursday, doesn't even start this Friday, I'm in love. See, I get it all confused. <laughs> I thought he was taking care of the Smiths. Yeah. Right. Uh, They're almost interchangeable. Awesome. Perhaps Joy Division. Um... <laughs> This is very sad. <laughs> Full month of it coming your way. Uh, yeah, it really is. Anyway, yeah, I, I agree with you. They need to throw in the yeah, towel. Yeah, so do. let's get back to coronavirus, because that's what we care about right now. Um, the, the Democrats obviously have been blocking you know, the relief bill. We've been talking about this, the stimulus bill. They blocked the bill from the GOP um, so frustrating. early on with, um, I think, was it 1,400 pages, this bill? Do we know yeah. how many pages it ended up? It keeps changing by the day. They came with You have to pages. pass it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can Before read. you can read it. Well, yeah, the, their true. counter, Again. I think, had 1,400 pain, and it yes. contained all sorts of ridiculous crap that had nothing to do with the coronavirus. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard of this. If you haven't, there's $35 million in funding for the JFK Performing Arts Center, $90 million for an HIV program, $300 million for migration and refugee assistance, Green New Deals, these style requirements yeah. for carbon emissions. Mm. Listen, over 3.2 million Americans just filed for unemployment, okay? Yeah. And the Democrats are demanding $300 million for illegal immigrants and refugees. Yeah. It's, and the Democrats, you, you wonder why America, the heartland doesn't think that you have their best interest at heart because a nutless monkey would be more effective yeah. at putting America first. <laughs> I trust Joe Biden's teleprompter more than I trust the DMC, uh, DMC yeah. looking out for the United States right yeah. now. There are a lot of things that I trust more than the DNC, yeah. namely yeah, all of them. Yes. Uh, here's another thing. This was a big deal and, and it may seem inconsequential. But I think, to go back to your point, I think this is why Americans think that Donald Trump is doing a better job handling this. And they, if it were just in a vacuum, Donald Trump, oh, we approve, we're rallying around the leader, that wouldn't right. explain the distrust of the media. Yeah. That tells me there's a conflict. That tells me that to most Americans, including Democrats, there's kind of a hero and a villain yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, and a big part of that was, of course, if you haven't been following it, I know you have the Chinese virus controversy. We continue our relentless effort to defeat the Chinese virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot it of comes from China. Racist. It's not racist at all. So no, good. not at all. It comes from China. That's why. It comes China. from China. I want to be accurate. Yeah. As you know, China tried to say at one point, maybe they stopped now, that it was caused by American soldiers. That can't happen. It's not going to happen. Not as long as I'm president. Uh, it comes from China. Seeing some important developments in our war against the Chinese virus. <laughs> I love the pause in China. China. C H I N A. China. China. If, you, if you're gonna fix a problem, you need to speak truth. Yes. You need to. You right. can't be yeah. obfuscated behind behind this all the this 
political correctness and you have to speak truth and what it is it came from china that's where it well here's, yes it matter why is trump saying chinese virus valuable it's not just because it offends all the right people <laughs> but <laughs> for the same reason it's that a instituting a travel ban from china was valuable for yeah. the same reason that trump's brass pendulous sack in comparisons to <laughs> Biden's shriveled, demented raisinets is valuable. Trump, he's not allowing political correctness to dictate policy right. best for Americans. Also, right, yeah. I'll tell you why Chinese virus is important. And you see this a lot with all of these, and you see it even in the Christian community, in the left community, the, the virtue signaling community, like we should be nice. No, no, you know why Chinese virus is important? Because a communist regime who tried to blame this virus on our American troops doesn't get to rewrite history. Mm, yeah. By the way, sign up for uh, Mug Club this month. The promo yeah. code is quarantine. We're giving away everything plus three morning shows. Uh, uh, you know, sixty nine dollars. You get thirty dollars off. Hit the notification bell if you're on YouTube and you are not subscribed yet, because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. Not at all. And uh, yeah, also Crowder Bit, subscribe. And uh, hey, look, look, Stu's, go, Stu's drinking from his mug. Quick, go to him. See, he can't talk. Oh, oh, he oh, turned it around. Yeah, it's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, to go back yeah. to the point of the media, th this is something that's really <laughs> important to me. I don't know how how more clearly we could see the media overreach right, yeah. right now. When they start blame, blaming Donald Trump for people eating koi pond oh, no. cleaner. <laughs> when I saw the story, I was like, no, they're not, they're not gonna jump on this. Yeah, no. There's no way that they lack the self-awareness to blame Donald Trump right. for simpletons, for mongoloids drinking koi pond cleaner. <laughs> mm. And then they do. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just give you a rapid fire recap as to all of their all of the dishonesties here. So something you've probably heard, Trump disbanded the pandemic, uh, the pandemic uh, unit there at the uh, the CD was it CDC or the White House? NHS. I don't know. They didn't say NHS. Yeah. Uh, actually, he just con just condensed it with other units so that the, the expertise could be pooled. It was actually yeah. a decision to yeah. make government more effective and efficient. Not How dare less. he? They I tried know. to say that Trump cut CDC funding, reducing the outreach by one of, from 49 countries to 10, including cutting their work in China. The truth is, it wasn't a direct cut. It was a depletion of previously allocated funds, and the CDC got that money from elsewhere, so it's a wash. Who cares? And the media tried to say that Trump, uh, of course, called the coronavirus a hoax. No, what he said was that Democrats pinning the blame on his administration was a hoax. And, of course, don't forget the fish tank cleaner, but we all understand that one. That one's really <laughs> stupid. It's fun yeah. to address, but I don't want to go over it. Here's the deal. After years, years of the anti-Trump, the Russian collusion, the yeah. UK's yeah. quid pro quo, can the general public, can, how can they trust the media at all? If you never heard them say one good thing about President Trump, and now they're saying that he's handling the outbreak poorly, when in fact it was the New York Times, the media, who downplayed it, we said, yeah. Well, yeah, but hold on, but you said there were prostitutes peeing on, on the Formica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything Ram that it. you've said is incorrect. Why would they trust you now? Right. I, what, what do you think? Do you still think it's rallying behind Trump? I, I do think that. I, well, I, I think this is a good case here. I mean, and you see this occasionally from media members when they actually will acknowledge something. Uh, the Daily, that New York Times podcast, which is basically 30 minutes of them destroying Trump every day in their minds. No, I don't uh, listen to yeah, it. Yeah, so not with my compromised immune system. That's right true. <laughs> be safe. Be safe. I'm susceptible True, yeah. to ear aids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, they uh, had Maggie Haberman on, who was kind of flipped and flopped. Jake from... Gyllenhaal's ugly sister. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and sh every expert. time she shows up in a sit on the big screen, I make an audible. <laughs> 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 I think that's everybody. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted. Yeah. So she said she admitted. She said, you know what? Early on in this situation, Trump banned flights from China. He was called racist. He was called xenophobic, yeah. and it turned out that it was a good move. And it was a big move at the time. Yeah. Now, they, they wrap that in 30 minutes of, of criticism. But at least if they will acknowledge basic truths, it'll at least give us a chance to understand and listen to the criticism. Right. They're so unwilling because they're so obsessed with this guy yeah. that they don't, normally won't even give him a point to his favor no matter yeah. what happens. Right. Yeah. I think it's a real problem. And by the way, um, this is something, too. They complained about the Republican bill. We've heard about this go back and forth all week. We'll talk about it yeah. more next week. Like the morning show, we'll be watching CNN and live yeah. fact checking. So it'll be a little bit different guests. It'll be more like a, a podcast, radio show, less late nighty, I guess. Uh, so we'll be able to talk more in depth about the bill. But initially, Actually, the left's complained that the Republican bill would allow hospitals, this was a big thing, that they would allow elective procedures um, to be put on hold to make room for corona patients. That included abortions, right? So here's the deal. Both sides have accused the other side of playing politics with this bill. You're trying right, to fit yeah. this in and you're trying to earmark this. And Okay, all right. And let's assume that that is true because it is true. Both sides are trying to play a little bit of political football, right? Right yeah. now they're trying to shoehorn their crap in. 
All right, let's assume all of that is true. What would be more relevant to a bill exclusively designed to curb the coronavirus and hopefully its economic ripple effect and devastation, helping hospitals alleviate their workload by holding all non-essential procedures like abortions, putting it on hold, or as the Democrats tried to shove into their bill, diversity quotas for corporate boards. Yeah, yeah. Hospi yeah. <laughs> getting hospitals masks, respirators, or making sure that there's a newbie in on retainer as an advisor at Dell. Yeah. <laughs> this is something that's really important too. Some people are trying to make this case for socialism. I think if you yeah. actually observe this objectively, you have to take this as a case against centralized against government because everything, yeah. the private sector has stepped up and tried to fix a quagmire that was created by government, regardless of who's in office. But it also shows us that, you know what? There is a finite amount of resources with government. It's ironic to me that the left, they think, well, this person has more, and so I want to take it. They don't understand that capitalism, free enterprise, is not a zero-sum game. No. It's not just a piece of the pie. You can bake more pies. You yeah. know what is a fixed pie? Government. There's only so much money they can take, especially if everybody is unemployed for indefinitely, right? There's a limited amount of resources. So let's take into account the idea that the government, they've had this Russia hoax investigation going on. How many tens of millions, when you add that up in hundreds of millions, but I don't know, billions, don't have the numbers in front of me, the impeachment sham going on. Oh, yeah. And the CDC, how about this CDC? Instead of researching gender pronouns and gun control statistics, you do your job. That way, people won't take a steaming crap on you as an emblem of systematic corruption and bureaucracy in government looking to the private sector for help. There's a fixed amount of resources in the government. Seems like maybe we should be a little more prudent in where we use our resources so that we're not caught flat-footed with our pants down again. You know what's in here? It's just water. That's why they call it acting. But it actually smells garlicky. There's something wrong with the water. I think it's going through the ice maker. We don't have, we don't have the baking soda in the fridge. If you like this video, uh, Subscribe, hit notifications, or just check back every single day because we upload a new video every single day. And this was actually taken from the full show, a full hour show that we upload every single Thursday. Click that right now. Go watch the entire show. If you don't want to, you don't, you don't have to. But if you, if you stop by, you know, just don't bother me. I'm going to enjoy my garlic water.